New Year's Eve next week, Huntington, New York, the Paramount. The first show sold out. I believe the second show is sold out. There's only some tickets left for the after party. If you want to come doing a little after party with me, TT Jerry, Jasmine, whatever you want, we're going to be doing a little after party in Huntington, New York at the Paramount. So go to chrisdcomedy.com. New Orleans, Civic Theater, January 12th. Dallas, Texas, House of Blues, January 13th is sold out. And Houston, Texas, the House of Blues in Houston, January 14th, I believe is almost sold out. Phoenix, Arizona, January 26th to the 28th. February 26th. Second, Vancouver, British Columbia, March 28th, 29th, West Palm Beach, Florida, March 31st, Miami Beach, the Fontainebleau, and April 12th, Austin, Texas, ChrisDComedy.com. I got a brand new hour of stand-up material. It's all new. If you sit in the front row, I do a little crowd work. I probably won't put a special out for a couple of years, so come see this material and have a good time. Also, get a sweatshirt, get a t-shirt at ChrisDComedy.com. Get the merchy worchy. Let's have a good time. Let's end 2022 with a bang. It's a good gift. Why don't you get tickets to my show uh, as a Christmas gift or a Hanukkah gift or a Kwanzaa gift? Why don't you do that? Do that and it'll be fun. And there's special guests coming into certain cities. And I'm not going to tell you who because I haven't thought of them or contacted them yet. Uh, uh, don't be a fake. Don't be a flake. Don't run away from your feelings, babe. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. Don't hesitate. Say, hey, babe, hey, babe, hey, babe, hey, babe. And uh, Sal is dead still, but he is coming on next week. Um, he'll be on actually for the new year. This is the last episode of the year, so we want to end it with Hanukkah. But Sal is coming on. Um, Sal Volcano will be coming on uh, the first episode of the new year, even though he's dead. He died, unfortunately, he did die at the end of 2022. But he's been given life in 2023, um, like Jesus himself. So instead, I thought it would be great. Um, I saw a great documentary on this person, um, and I loved every minute of it. And I'm so excited that for the very, very, very last Hey Babe of the year, we have special guest Weird Al Yankovic. Um, I have nice feet. Do you ever feel, really Jessica, do. when what? you're walking through neighborhoods, like, you know, like when you're in Manhattan, very trendy, cool, like... Manhattan. This with, is a trendy area. But do you ever Can feel I check that my like hair? I feel like. Right, do you ever you. feel like in these types of places? I love that I'm being dressed right now. Yes. Can I can I put my hand on you? Yes. You sh yeah. you're, you're answering for her. This is yeah, yeah. Th that's yeah. That's it. <laughs> yeah. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry. Yeah. No, no, I'm sorry. sorry. Do yeah. my hands smell like vagina? <laughs> Were you fingering your Uber driver? Um, do you ever feel like when you're walking down the street, like you're just in Ukraine? Yeah. Because there's so this many Ukrainian flags. This city is disgusting. Flags. There's so many Ukrainian flags and there rainbow is, flags. There are. I just noticed that. There's you feel like you're in the gay part of right Kiev. What? There's a Ukrainian church right near here. Do you want to go just... bomb it? <laughs> <laughs> I laugh at every, I'm the perfect guest because I laugh at everything you say. Yeah. This That's what everyone said when I did your show the oh, other day. Oh, yeah, but we can't say. Oh, yeah, I mean, the show. I, I laugh at everything you say. Right, but we, we're, we're, we're told we can't mention anything about that. And on the oh, net. Okay. No, but, but Jessica came and did my show that was on the Rice Wait, Network. Yeah, you put, <laughs> there you go. There it is. Like this? <laughs> yeah. Jessica. <laughs> and uh, you like your there you go. <laughs> there it is. There you go. Look at that bush on Jessica. <laughs> you wanna do you want the hair? You don't. You don't whatever you want to do. <laughs> okay. There you go. Is this? No, you put it here, or is, is there a mustache? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Look at. I can't see a thing. <laughs> Hi. Can Welcome you to the this? show. What happened in the middle? So is there any? Oh, my oh. God. <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> it's been a long time. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? This is in my teeth. I'm uh, chewing on this beard. But some... <laughs> <laughs> You're chewing on this beard. <laughs> Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah. Jasmine is a beard. <laughs> She's my beard. <laughs> Jasmine.
husband says I'm gay every day. <laughs> she does? Yeah, she, sometimes I swear. You're not gay. No, literally, the other night, we were just laying in bed. We were yeah. watching Yellowstone. And at, she was like just l- looking at the ceiling. And she goes, Chris, are you gay? And really? She just hit her leg. Out of nowhere? Because I was jerking off to Kevin Costner. <laughs> <laughs> to James Woods. Uh, look at this. Um, so welcome to Hey Babe. Sal will be coming back um, in the new year. Okay. Uh, he's or or we're gonna go live from his coffin. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, Jessica, how? Uh, first of all, how? Uh, how's everything? Jessica, Jessica Kirson, Kirson, uh, Carson, Carson, <laughs> Jess, Jessica Carson, the Tonight Show with Jessica Carson, <laughs> Jessica McMahon. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what? Uh, how was the drive-in? It was really annoying. I, I, I you know, I, tr- I leave so early, but you know, everywhere it's just traffic. And, Long Island. Yeah, it's really, it's, it's a lot, but it's okay. You know, at least I wasn't in an accident. That's right. I, every time I see people in accidents, I'm like, they're. I didn't get into it. It's fine. It's all going to be fine. It's all, I, I flipped re- off 17 people. Good. And I shit in my hand and flung it at a couple cars. <laughs> Well, so I feel better. But you're healthy, so the shit is good. Yeah, I mean, shit. yeah, I feel I feel good. You know, I've right. been eating well, and um, I I feel really good. I'm I'm constipated because I'm enraged, so I hold on to my feces. Right. So which is the best way to do it? Yeah, I'm 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 eating a lot of this beard, but yeah. I feel like I'm going down on like an old school lesbian that yeah. doesn't shave. Like you're going down on Judy Gold. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't, I've never been with those kind of lesbians that don't shave. You know, I'm into right. like the really femme, like they shave their bush. Shave their bush. Yeah, I, I'm not into, I, you know, you gotta, you gotta be bare or a little, you can have a little, but I can't do the, right. you know, no, that's not th- going to work. It feels like being a lesbian isn't enough anymore. You have to be something more than a, le- like you just being gay isn't cool enough. Well, you have for to me be it is. Next level, but you have, there has to be a twist. Like, like what? Like, I don't know. Like now it's like you got to be gay, but also... Have one arm? Yes. Like, you, <laughs> like you know, you can't just be like the L L G. You got to be Well, that's be the BQ new thing, too. but I'm old school. You know me. I'm like, I've been yeah. out since for 27 years. I think, yeah, I've been out for a really long really? time. Really? Was that hard the first day coming out to your parents? Well, my parents knew. I mean, they were like, yeah, what? Like, it was obvious. I was with someone for years, and it was. A, you, I thought it was a secret, but everyone knew. Because you, you were always walking around with sheetrock? <laughs> <laughs> I walked around with a sign, and I was crying all the time. No. <laughs> yeah. No, I had a girlfriend, and I thought, you know, of course I thought no one knew, but everyone knew. I yeah. mean, we were always together, and every time she'd leave, I'd be like, bye, Melissa. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> uh, but uh, it was uh, it was hard for me to come out. I always had horrible um, shame about it. I still have stuff about it. You if know? Jasmine's right and I am gay, how how what's... you would know if you're gay? But how would you, you know? Be- Chris, I mean, do you? I don't. I I'm looking the at the label. picture of Tupac Shakur, and I want to lick his teeth. <laughs> I hate the label gay. I'm being honest with you. Okay, so what should it be? Because I watch straight porn. And okay. I like sucking dick. You know, I say this as a, it's not a joke. Like, I say it as a joke on stage. But I don't mind, I haven't done it in years, but I don't mind it because I I, I, I liked it. Like I, And I didn't mind having sex with men. I don't have a desire to do it, but I didn't mind it. It's like I just couldn't fall in love with a man. Right. So, I mean, I am bi, but I prefer women. I don't right. want to be with men, but I don't find them repulsive. I think men are beautiful. I, get, I, I, I watch porn with men and women. I can watch two men. I can watch two women. I whatever. Right. So I don't think if you're attracted to men or you get, if you, you get hard from watching a guy or you're gay. I, I hate right. that. I hate yeah. that. Yeah, like the other night. I, I think everyone's on. Some people never have thought about it once, and then some people think about it. But it doesn't mean it doesn't mean if you're a guy that you get turned on by it that you're gay. Yeah, I like, hate when people do that. The other, and 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 that's why the other day, me I started like trying to like have sex with Jasmine because we were watching the World Cup mm-hmm. and Argentina was playing and Lionel Messi was just running up and down the field scoring goals. And I think it it just started to make me horny. 
So what? But it wasn't him. It was just the fact that he's really good at what he does. That's so that so and that he, can be hot and, to you, but that doesn't mean. And he took his shirt mean, off. Yeah. Yeah. So what? Like I don't. I don't. So what? That I wish more people like were okay with that and didn't yeah. have to label it. And because I yeah. think a lot of men and women get fearful of that and go, oh my God, now I'm gay yeah. or now that's something wrong. Like, it's not. That's actually very human. It's like, human. back to the beginning yeah. of time. Jazz Let me put on my glasses is- so I cannot see. Jazz said the only issue she had is while we were having sex, I was demanding that she allow me to call her Lionel. I get... <laughs> Did you make her run around the... Yeah, um, yeah, and I made her put on an Argentina jersey and kick me in the nuts. <laughs> and then go, goal! <laughs> and I said, bend over, Lionel. I'm going to stick it in your shitter. <laughs> oh, look at this. Former Nazi worker, 97, escapes jail sentence after conviction for aiding 10,505 murders. Look at that little old bitch. Oh she my god. She killed 10,500 people cuz she was a little Nazi secretary with their beret. What do you think? Should I she mean, be in prison? What should we do? She should be tortured. You think? They should do medical experiments At on 97, her. 97, they should torture her. Yes. Yes. They should do medical ex- medical I mean exper- you're asking a Jew. Like I don't know if I'm the person to be asking. Right. I, I feel like yeah. Like right. I I mean yes. Yes. She's yeah. You dumb old bitch. Who cares that she's 97? Yeah, d- well, deal with it. Why? She should be able to live her last year or two in in peace? What did she do? She said in the closing statement she was sorry for what had happened and regretted it. Sorry? She, so she'd been there, but what did she... Oh, she was a stenographer. That's what her job was, right? She was also 18 when she was hired. So was she groomed by them? I don't know. That's the debate that they're having. She was 18. She She was the stenographer, right? And she said she didn't, she was just a Couldn't part. Couldn't she just be a woman uh, who's a victim of gaslighting? Oh, God. You know what? Can so- <laughs> I wish someone would gas me right now. I'm yeah. so sick. Yeah, I wish she was a victim of gas chambering. That one. <laughs> I, I have gas. Forget about all this. I have horrible gas yes. right now because I ate a lot of cauliflower we snacks. We put a bunch of Chobani yogurt in your coffee. I ate a whole bag of cauliflower snacks because they're quote unquote cauliflower. I am such a fucking liar yes. with food. <laughs> you don't eat that shit, do you? No, well, I, I, I've been eating. No, I'm eat. I've been trying to eat a lot healthier. I've been trying now. I've been really trying hard to just say once a week. And my daughter will always remind me to only have sweets on Saturdays. And the last two nights, the same things happen. I've gotten to about the end of my fasting window at about 6 p.m. And I've eaten two desserts the both nights. I'm like, oh, because she's because I'm like, as long as I don't have muffins, because I love muffins in the morning, but I'm like, only so have muffins good. on Saturdays, toasted muffins with uh, butter and jelly. It's the best. I, Chris, you and I have the same yeah. taste. I love that because you had scones yeah. the other day. I One love scones. One time I scones. took a bite of a, of a muffin and it was so good. I looked my daughter right in the eye and I said, you're fucking adopted. <laughs> 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 Just because you ever have to bite into a food so good you want to throw it against the wall or hit your mother? Yes. yes. I, I, that's how you know how many times I punch Italian, my mom in the head? Yeah. When yeah, she makes a an, really good roast? Yeah, you want to just squeeze someone oh. or fucking kill them because it's squeeze so good. It. I know that's yeah. how I get with my kids. Sometimes yeah. I bite them and they get so <laughs> oh mad. They're like, God. you hurt me. I'm like, <laughs> I was hurt too. Get over it. <laughs> yeah. One time my mom made the best lasagna I've ever had in my life and I threw it down the stairs. I said... <laughs> I said, this is why you're lonely. Dad was right. And I ran out because the food was so good. <laughs> One time my mom made a pot roast. and It was so amazing. I smashed it in her head and told her I'll never love her. <laughs> you, you smashed it in her head. You said, guess what, mom? I'm a d-. <laughs> Guess what, mom? I was assaulted. <laughs> Oh and God. I was drunk, so I think it was my fault. <laughs> yes. Right on, right on the YouTube comments, if you've been assaulted. <laughs> <laughs> this is hey, babe. <laughs> Adults are buying toys for themselves, and it's the biggest source of growth for the industry. You know what? If you're an adult buying a toy for yourself and you took it away from a child who wants that toy, you're an asshole. I'm talking to you, Joe DeRosa. <laughs> <laughs> I love Joe. 
<laughs> so I want to buy him shoulder pads for Christmas. <laughs> if you don't do that, dude, I got to buy shoulder pads. I, can you please get huge ones, like really yeah. big shoulder? Like 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 a like those. You know the shoulder pads that used to come in like the the suits. I want to get a yes. like Hillary Clinton shoulder huge pads. Huge ones, like a and a deep purple jacket. Oh, yeah. God, what'd you get the the kids for Christmas? What'd what you get? didn't? What didn't we get? It's amazing to, you know, Danielle will say to me, don't leave a light on. And then there, there's thousands of dollars being spent on Christmas gifts. I'm like, what the fuck? This reminds me of my grandmother who was very wealthy. Don't, you better drink your Diet Coke. I spent money on that Diet Coke. And then would spend tons of money on other things. On it's other like things. the priorities are fucked up. To you as a Jewish person, but the, your kids are half Jewish, half Christian. Well, they're they not. The, the Jewish part goes out the fucking window. With the holidays. Yeah, it means nothing. It means nothing. You just light a candle and you sing a stupid song and right. you get a little piece of chocolate and a dumb present. But Christmas, my whole house, it looks like Santa's ass blew up. It's like <laughs> there are fucking red. Look at this. It's just, there's, there's, it's, it's green and red everywhere. There's so many. Look at the video. This is amazing. <laughs> look at this. Oh, look at this. I mean, these that's are not, me. I just want to tell everyone that's watching and everything these are not my people these, these people are, don't the, chris these people don't accept me this is don't. i am not a part of this Can you explain what is happening in this This is uh, well i what are they doing th this is these are women hating this is not my people i'm yeah. a sinner to this group because right. i eat box right um right and so they the, i'm not a part of this this is These not Hasidic jewish men jumping up and down yes uh, i don't know what they're doing are they, are they celebrating hanukkah maybe it says hanukkah off to a hard start this year baby shabbat shalom shaba by asap ferg so okay are they so, listening to asap ferg no somebody edited it i oh, think okay. they're i think they're they're hum, they're going up and down on hanukkah candles on their in their aim <laughs> yeah. in their anus that's what it is yeah, yeah. that's why this one's cracked <laughs> <laughs> um i uh yeah because because you know i want to teach my kids about you know all the different holidays because i feel like catholicism was just forced upon me and my kids don't know enough about the other holidays so like she you that's know, good like i want my daughters to know about hanukkah we were telling them about the menorah and all that good. And we didn't have a candle we were missing one day of the candle so we used tt jerry's dildo <laughs> <laughs> is that disrespectful no because <laughs> no. we just wanted it and we they used and we, to do that years and years ago yeah we had and we had my daughter light it with gloves on and then but what if <laughs> but then my daughter asked what do the kids in kwanzaa get what do the kids in kwanzaa get and i didn't know and yeah i told her because i want her to get it i said they get the flu shot because <laughs> i need her to get the flu shot that's hysterical. So I said they get the flu shot, and she said, "Well, if there, that's what I want. She wants a Kwanzaa. Aww. She wants a Kwanzaa holiday." So I told her the little kids in Kwanzaa get the flu shot. Um, but we do have information here that said kids there should be uh, two gifts for kids, primarily a book and a heritage symbol that teach them about the beautiful and rich culture um, it, uh, of of Kwanzaa. That's so, great. Yeah, I'm going to. Um, I don't know. I'm going to ask Andrew Schultz how to celebrate Kwanzaa. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best laugh in the world. The it's this is not this is not Chris Stefano. My name my name's Q from the Jokers. <laughs> I'm Brian Quinn. Um, what? So, do you have what are you doing tonight? I have I I love that you just went into that joke. You're like, "So, do you like feta cheese?" Like it was such a <laughs> random question. <laughs> Um, I have shows tonight in New York. So you're just going to stay in the city all day? No, I'm actually going to go out to Jersey to my mom's place. She's okay. in, she's in Florida for three months, so I'm going to party it up at my mom's and do some heroin. Oh my god, yeah, and just uh, snort up her blood pressure medicine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love my your mother, mom, by the way. Your uh, mom, my mom loves first you. First of all, your mom is is beautiful. Yeah, she's, she's hot. Uh, she's like le no, she's like legitimately like a hot woman. Yeah, and she's and beautiful. She really, she really is. is, and she is so nice, so funny. And you know what I like about I can tell in a minute of your relationship. 
is you can be you around her, which a lot of people, I like, can. I can't be the real me around my mom or dad for that Around matter. your mom? Around my mom or my dad. I can't um, be. That's interesting to I me. I can't be me. I, I've actually, like, they know, only get to know the real me when they listen to the podcast and they're right. horrified. Uh, <laughs> but but, yeah. but uh, the real me, it, it, right away like that, you can have a real relationship with your mom you have a relationship with your mom which uh, which i think is so rare and special yeah but chris my mom is a therapist my mom is an old school therapist right. hippie from like the 70s and 80s like yeah. so she's gets it right so that's very rare right uh yeah so i can basically say anything around her i mean yeah. she's like gets it it's yeah it's it's one of those things where it, it it's it's envious it, i i was i because i'm like you know with my mom like you know the holidays like you know you can't really curse you can't say anything well like, that yeah you can't even i mean even the fact that i'm not married and have kids it's like we you know like she doesn't know like right. she thinks they're adopted you know like she's like oh he wouldn't be having sex without marriage oh you know? god excuse you were brought up religious very right. religious which which is an interesting thing to have now with my kids where like we're talking all about Christmas where I'm teaching them, but I also don't want to like pound religion down their throat. Yeah. Like happened to me. That's not a father bill joke. Um, <laughs> it, but I no, mean, but I yeah. think that's important. Yeah, yeah, I really do. Yeah. My mom is really like, I'll never forget. My mom called me years and years and years what ago. Do you do, what do you do when you have a, a pubic hair wrapped around your uvula? <laughs> you re you reach in and, and grab Get it, it out. Yeah. Okay. Do you want me to do it? Oh, <laughs> uh, maybe, yeah. Maybe my Starbucks coffee will help. I have a question. Uh, okay. What's your advice to people who want to come out of the closet on Christmas? Doesn't the girl on the Starbucks cup look like Venetia? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> I think Christmas is a perfect time to come out to your family. Is it like a um, like? Would you do it like <laughs> under the tree? That's what you would I have. Think, you come, I think this is a. I think especially if someone's like really ill, like if someone is in hospice or something, yeah. and everyone's around the person, like they're about to die. Yeah. Um. I think it's especially if your family's really religious, like really, really like a Christian family from mm. the deep south, mm. um, where you know, uh, yeah, everyone's really uptight, and someone's about to go and everyone flies in yep. you know the whole family haven't seen each other in years right and they're in the hospice together with masks on like it's just very tense mm -hmm. um you you know just so then you don't have to make phone calls and emails yes. to everyone you can get them all together at one time yep maybe hire a videographer yeah um a homeless pimp i'm serious yeah i'd love yeah. to yeah he's and he's available you do all that you have everybody in there you come out of the closet and you have that whole meal catered by HelloFresh. Use promo code Hey Babe. Yeah, that's great. That's there a great it is. idea. America's number one meal kit. Yeah, and it would be good to have someone come, maybe like a gay and lesbian. Like we did this at our wedding. Like someone who's non-denominational, like who's like a big dyke. Oh, like who, like a like a, like an ambiguous gay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You who's know. like a they? Like you know, someone who yeah. has you know a like big like the dyke. guy who stole who's the like, luggage. Hey, we're all here for a very important occasion. Yeah. With like a rainbow. Like this guy, pull sash. up Joe Biden's luggage guy. Just like I don't know if you see like this guy. Who, yeah, Let who, me see. it's not me with the shaved head. People keep saying it's me, Let me with see. the shaved head, but like this guy would be good right here. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, this is the guy or person. I'm, I apologize. An ambiguous. Yeah, it's not in. a guy. I just, it, yeah. It I'm offended by what you just said. Oh, I apologize. Sorry. Yes. Imagine, yeah, that's a, it's a, it's a mermaid. <laughs> it, it's, uh, she's beautiful. Um, so yeah, okay, so anyway, so I then have that thing, person, yeah. and then in the hospice with the fifty family members, the non-denominational um, person, mm. person, I'm saying that on pur purpose, person, to do the prayer in front of the family, the person dying, um, you know, and then have the gay person. This goes out to anyone who hasn't come out in front of their very religious family to then say, um, hi everyone, uh, and this is exactly how you should say it, hi everyone, um, I, it's taken me years to do this, but I wanted to wait until everyone is together, especially during a moment like this, um, where you know it's calm and there mm. especially wouldn't be any arguments or people wouldn't be able to really you know, lash out because right. this is very hard for me. Right. This is about me right now. 
Right. I know, you know, I'm going to make up a name. I know John is on, you know, his deathbed, but I need everyone to really focus because this is my journey. Right. Um, right. And I've been struggling this with this for years. Yes. Yeah. Um, I. Uh, I'll be jo- I'm, I'm John. Okay. Keep talking. Go ahead. No, keep going. Oh, you're right. jo- Yes, you're I'm, the sick I'm, one. Yeah. Thank you for doing that. So just keep going. Okay. Make you announce to your family. Okay. So everyone, please. I know. You know. Um, I know you're here with John, but please focus on me. I know. Because this is very hard for me. I have not been able to be who I really am for years. And I've had to suppress myself. I I, I want I am a gay woman. I love women. And I can't help who I am. I have felt like this since the moment I was born. The minute I was born, I have been attracted to girls. And I am not gonna change who I am for anyone. So please accept me. And if you don't, I will no longer have contact with you. I'd like to introduce you to my lover. Stevie. Jessica. Stevie. I and I have been together for two weeks and we're getting married. I have we have a home, 14 dogs, 11 cats, Jessica and a ferret. Killed me. And we have matching tattoos of our vaginas. We. <laughs> Did you just die? <laughs> Why no. are you smiling? No, I just came. <laughs> but now I'm dead. <laughs> that was beautiful. Thank you. And that's how you do that it. That's how perfect... you act. That's how you set up a scene. And that's what we call scene work. And it's, Chris uh, and I have been practicing that yes. for weeks. Do you know that I met Jessica 12 years ago, the very first I took a stand-up comedy class and Jessica was the um, instructor. And that's yeah. where we met and we fell in love. And, and he's t- great at eating puss. Oh, so good. That's how he got into the class. I make everyone eat my pussy. Yeah. <laughs> I can't what a say class. that without yes, laughing. I just got in there. Do you want to take it? I'd love to. <laughs> I just got in there. I just got in there and I started eating. I was eating pussy. I was eating ass. And, um, and I love him thing, you know, so I got much. A, I got on a show at Gotham Comedy Club with you. And, um, and we've been friends uh, for so long. And ever. tell them, tell them what I said. What did I say the day I met you? Um, uh, what, what He's going to be embarrassed. I told, him, I told him he was going to be a star. And I, I don't say that. I, I, I don't think I've ever said that to anyone. Wow. I don't think, and I've taught hundreds of people, believe it or not, over the years. I taught all through um, COVID. I taught, I taught on Zoom, all female comics. I taught right. probably 100 women on Zoom. But I, I, I love to teach. Um, I actually just did a seminar for 55 comics in DC the other day. Really? Mm-hmm. Ooh. I really love to teach. Uh, it was more about like the business of comedy and stuff. But I, right. the day I met Chris and he did some stuff in front of me for an hour, I looked at him and I said, you're going to be a star. You're brilliant. Because he, it, and you were just starting. But I can see it. And it's very rare. It's, you know, one in a hundred people. I mean, it's literally that rare. But I knew well, right away that you had it because you do. Well, I, you know, and maybe, you know. and 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 I think that that's coming to uh, fruition now because now I'm, I, you know, I have, I potentially have my own show on the Spice Network. Um, and uh, really, it's a big yeah, and it's uh, and it's a big deal. And um, I'm op- I open, I'm opening up for Ronnie Chang all over the world. Um, <laughs> and oh my God, where like uh, where. We're doing, um, we're actually going to, uh, we're actually going to Kiev. We're doing a show in Kiev. Oh, where? Like a bomb shelter? Or? Yes. And then I'm, listen, I know that it's maybe not popular, but I'm, I'm crossing the line and I'm going to do shows in Russia as well because I think Vladimir Putin needs comedy. I think if laughter is the best medicine, then Vladimir Putin needs it as well. 
And I, I just w- hope you don't get stuck there because who would they trade you for? For me, who would I get traded for? Um, who, that's a good question. Who yeah. the fuck would I get traded for? I mean, you. Well, Brittany Griner is already out. You wouldn't. You might not get traded so easily. No, because I'm, I'm white. I'm, I'm serious. Straight. I'm not even just saying that. Yeah, no, I'm not going to get traded. You're not. So I would not go to Russia. But he could Run. probably work for Russian media. I could. You could podcast for them. I, just I like think this. The, no, but I think they would arrest him and keep him in jail to, as like a really good. I wonder if we went to Russia, if we went to Moscow, I wonder if they would like find out who we were and like listen to some podcasts and put us in jail just for some of the things we've said about Russia on the podcast. hundred oh, yeah. percent. Right. Like you can't go there at all. I wouldn't. I would. I would die in a Russian prison. Would you I'm just, ever... I would die in any prison. An Cause... episode ago, you screamed at camera, nuke us, you pussy. <laughs> to, to Russia? <laughs> to Putin, personally. Yeah. Well, <laughs> oh, my God. I stand by it. An episode ago. It's not what? even. <laughs> Do you. Would you. Is there a place in the world. That you would never go. If I was yes. like, Jessica, I'll give you $5 million to go. And oh you still boy, say I wouldn't million. go. Five million. I don't know if I go to Russia right now. You wouldn't go. I, I'm a, I would be afraid to go to Russia. Would you go to other, like, would you go to like, um, like Antarctica? Would you yes. do stuff like that? Yeah. You would go to there? Yeah. Do you think there's pyramids on Antarctica? That's what a lot of people say. They I don't say, know. I believe in a lot of, like, I'm you believe pretty in conspiracies. open. No, I mean, not some of them are so ridiculous. Right. I mean, I believe in, in, in other, like, other life out there. I believe in a lot of stuff. But I don't believe in, like, ridiculous things like Elvis being alive, or, you know. Tupac fucking, being alive? No. He's right behind I don't behind believe you. in any, any of that shit. He's always watching. He's always watching. <laughs> Look at this. Here's, what, here's the gift I want to get you. A Roomba. I want to get you a Roomba because what they're doing now is they recorded a woman on the toilet and then it posted the pictures automatically to her Facebook. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my God. The Roomba was going to clean the floor and it just posted a picture of her bare ass on the toilet to her Facebook. Do you want a Roomba? Wait, how did it? Some, how did it happen? Yeah, how did it have a woman, camera? I believe she was a housekeeper. And she <gasps> messed with the settings? No, and I think it was just going on auto mode. It was just going, going but around. But who even knew but it had a camera? why would it post? I'm not sure. No, they're just That's figuring it freaky. out. That's freaky. They were then sent to scale AI, a startup that contracts workers around the world. To, okay. So, yeah. So it, like, this, I believe in all that, like tracking phone, like all that stuff. It makes you, me very You know very what I nervous. feel, though? Like when people are like, I don't want to give you my social security number. I'm not. They already have it. No, I know. See, I kind of feel like you're ridiculous if I you don't do want to give the number up, if you don't want to give your facial recognition technology. It's like they already have it. They already have it. So everything. just shut up. I agree give with a, you. Just succumb. But this is the big issue here. This is a problem. Pimp said he wanted us to read this and learn about this live on the show. Face recognition tech gets Girl Scout mom booted from Rockette show due to where she works. So Pimp, what so, is, so if Pimp have, wants to explain this they to They have us. facial recognition now. MSG has it at uh, Radio City. And a woman went with her daughter to go see the show. But she works for a law firm that is currently suing some part of MSG. So they banned her from the venues. So now the facial recognition picked her out of the crowd and said, she's not allowed in here. She's suing us on another thing. That's crazy. H- how, how, that's wild. They, that must have been specifically out for her though. Like, well, no, look, see right here. It says a loudspeaker said woman, gray scarf. No, like she's in a database. They have her, her face flagged. So do they have all our faces? Like if you're in a lawsuit with them, like I'm in a couple of lawsuits. That's what I mean. You might not be able to go places now. That's fucked up. <laughs> Well, I'll just go like this, like a rabbi, and you can't get me. That's crazy. That is, I mean, it is getting to the point. Do you think in China they already have a social credit score where you get scored as a person and you can, like, not get jobs, not get allowed into taxis, not, you know, be allowed in certain areas if your social credit score is below a certain number? But what does social credit score mean? Meaning, like, if you, like you know, did something bad or like, you know, fucked up somehow, you get a number from like one to 10. And if it's like, they, like the government may give you like a four. And then when you scan into something, it's like in this big national database, they'd be like, oh, this person's a piece of shit. They only got a four on their social credit. Wow. I think you should think of it as like, this is at a venue you guys would work. Now, what if you get flagged by their system for saying something problematic? 
now you you're not allowed in the, you know what i mean they can ban you from effectively anywhere they own if live nation goes you're banned from our stuff you can't go to a show well, then anywhere. i'll go on stage and do the show like kanye did alex jones i'll put that <laughs> thing right over my head and i'll fucking walk right out there and i'll say i'll 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 say um you know that i'm fucking i'm not chris stefano i'm i'm uh, i'm somebody else did you hear between takes of alex jones show he was weeping Kanye They was? would cut to commercial. Who whatever. was weeping? Kanye. Kanye. He's having a full mental breakdown. You haven't heard from him in like a week or two now. Yeah, no, I was thinking about that. away a little no, bit. No, we're just starting to ignore him. He's just... He's, he's still, still out he's, there. He released music. Music got leaked. That is... There's Trash? New, there's a new wave of music coming that I'm calling hate speech music. Okay. <gasps> where it's Kanye has a song where he just repeatedly says the K word and says, why can't I say that anymore? <gasps> and it's oh like the God. chorus. And then also R. Kelly came out with the song where he sings that pedophilia is your opinion on age consent, not my opinion. So why am I in jail for your opinion? Oh my God. Wild music. Well, I mean, listen, 200 years ago, I mean, these <laughs> kings and queens, they, were day, they had 12-year-old wives. Maybe R. Kelly's a fan of history. He can't even read. <laughs> that is true. Allegedly. Yeah, no, it's it's... It's stupid now. I, I'm telling you. I feel like Kanye's going to get hurt. You think he's going to hurt himself? I feel like no. he, might, he might lead the next January 6th. I'm going to the next January 6th dressed as this. <laughs> I'm dressed as the rabbi. I'm worried. Should we go as I'm Santa worried. and rabbi? I would. Do, yes. <laughs> Holding up the Tupac sign. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like, no, you know what I think? God what? forbid. I feel like some follower of Kanye's is going to do something. This episode is brought to you by BetterHelp, okay? I like BetterHelp. I need BetterHelp. We, it is online counselors that they set it up. You do it from the privacy of your own home. Mental health can be a real challenge. And you just get set up with a therapist on Zoom or, you know, on the computer. You don't have to go to an office. There's no brick and mortar here. It's just they set them up. It's got, and they, they have over 3 million people with licensed therapists they've connected. It's convenient and accessible anywhere and 100% online. And it will help you figure out the cause of a therapist. What they're trained to do is help you figure out the cause of your challenging emotions. Okay. And then they give you scope coping skills and it's great. I've been using it. Sal's been using it. Everybody in this room uses it. Everybody uses better help because it actually works. Right now, if you go to betterhelp.com, that's H-E-L-P, betterhelp.com slash hey babe, you're gonna get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp.com slash hey babe, 10% off your first month. All you gotta do is fill out a brief questionnaire, match you up with the therapist, and then boom, bang, boom, bada, bada, bingo, boom. You got a therapist, you got your mental health in check, you got your coping skills. Betterhelp.com slash hey babe. Bling, bling, it's the sound of Shopify. Bling, bling, it's the sound of Shopify. Shopify, baby. You know we love it here at Hey Babe. You know that's how we got this whole business started. If you have a business, you need Shopify. It makes it simple to sell to anyone from anywhere. They create an online store in your vibe, discover new customers, and grow the following that keeps them coming back. I love Shopify. Thanks to the 24-7 support and free libraries full of educational content, Shopify's got you, baby. 24-7 support, it's so important. So thank you so much. We appreciate it. Go on, try Shopify for free and start selling anywhere. Sign up for a free trial right now at shopify.com slash hey babe, all lowercase. Don't put uppercase. It's all lowercase. Shopify.com slash hey babe. Start selling online today. Shopify.com slash hey babe. Actually, I did oh. want to know if you've ever had to go through your child's phone. Oh, yeah. You ever have to go through any of your kids' phones? I had to do it. Um, I haven't, but my ex um, has had to do a lot of stuff like that with my oldest. And then have a conversation with yes. you about yes. there's some shit that you see in there. Yes. But see, you're being a very, you're like a very cool, progressive mom. Mm -hmm. So if you saw some like hyper sexualized stuff, you wouldn't probably react and start screaming at them right well, away. Well, no, I don't react and scream, but I mean, we have definitely talked to Isabella about like the TikToks and all that stuff. Like she, she cannot watch it. that stuff anymore. Yeah. No, 
No, she no, it's can't. insane. She starts being, you know, they start saying rude stuff, talking back, inappropriate. The because whole they thing. hear it all can't, from TikTok. Of course, yeah. can't do it. Yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah no. The same thing with mine. Like, no, she gets. She's been, you know, a bit combative. And oh, a, totally. We, we, no YouTube. No. No TikTok. No. And she's and when my daughter was like, "Why can't I have TikTok?" I was like, "Because it's owned by the Chinese. That's why." Yeah. And you can't have anything from them because that's the enemy, honey. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's and the same thing. The minute she, st- <laughs> <laughs> then I <laughs> chopped her head off. Yeah, then I fucking stuck chopsticks up her mother's ass. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> I love when he says, "Oh my god!" <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I love when his response is, "Oh my god!" <laughs> it sounds like a, a like a woman like in her seven. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my goodness gracious! <laughs> Chopsticks up her ass. Up her ass. At least they're thin. Yeah. And then I started rubbing duck sauce all over my feet. So stupid. <laughs> so dumb. And then I put an egg roll in a tuckus. <laughs> Look at my mouth. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do you gag? Yes. Every time. So does my cock. little brother. Oh, does he? Does he want to hang my out? My grandmother used to. Tell you met Josh. Me on he loves you. My little brother loves you. <laughs> Stop! I'll come. <laughs> Listen, my grandmother once was eating asparagus. Oh my god! <laughs> that fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she put in the whole piece and she was so old. And she was like, ah, ah. <laughs> pulled out the whole piece. And my bro- my little brother was like 11 at the time and yeah. he, at the gorgeous restaurant. Yeah. And he went, he threw up threw all up. over. He, he couldn't handle it. He because vomited she, your all. Grandmother deep yeah, the whole, asparagus. Yeah, the whole piece. She pulled out the oh entire, at like a very fancy restaurant. Imagine he, he, what her pee must have smelled like <laughs> that night. Oh. Asparagus pee, the worst. Um, I really don't want to think about my grandmother's urine. <laughs> I do. Imagine you walked in and your grandma was peeing on my chest. And I was, <laughs> and I was If saying, you knew. And I was going, oh, Kelly's not a pedophile. <laughs> and, 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 <laughs> Jessica, remember the time you told me you got a kidney stone in Alaska? I didn't have a kidney stone. I had a gallbladder oh, removed. Was that terrifying to be on you a cruise? You would have flipped the fuck of out course. knowing I, I, you. If I if I get like a, a I flew home from England once cuz I had like a diarrhea <laughs> cuz I thought like <laughs> I'm going to get I'm going to die of like my colon's going to burst and you were literally This is the best story. I was on this, a this not just insane. a cruise, Chris. I was on an all gay male cruise. It was so dramatic. Oh, they my were all God. on. I was taken away by an ambulance and they were all on their balconies like, oh, my God, Jessica Kirsten's being taken away in an ambulance. <laughs> it was so dramatic. Oh, my, but like so. OK, so when did the pain start happening? Were you guys like in the middle of the sea, the, the Bering yeah, Sea? We were, I was in the middle of Alaska in this gorgeous cruise ship with thousands of gay men. Were you on stage I, when you felt the pain? I or? was in horrible pain for a couple of days and I was like, what is going on? This is not normal. You were nervous. Very. But I you was had to ve- do shows that night. I did a show, and then I was like, "This is not okay. Something's wrong." Like you couldn't even eat, really. No, I was very sick. I had horrible pain. So I could barely. I just want to put. I just wanted the audience to understand, like when you have to perform comedy or anything, be on stage for any reason, and you're in pain like that. Yeah. The stripping's anxiety- the worst. When I have to strip and oh, I feel like that, it's really bad. You never. Yeah, you don't want to do that, especially after you've eaten asparagus, because nobody wants that. Because yeah. a lot of you girls are not doing your kegels. And you get dripped on. I can't tell you how many times I've I've got a lap dance and then I get up, I got a wet chest. And (laughs) and so, so I, but you get the anxiety. Yeah, you have the shits and everything. Forget about being sick. It's compounded with anxiety. Think, how am I going to get through an hour of comedy right now? So you're dealing with that for two days. Yeah, horrible. And then, but it's pain. It's not even like nausea. It's just bad pain and it very doesn't bad stop pain. and you know and you know when you know something's wrong like it's not just i have a stomach virus or i ate something like something's wrong like it's a whole body thing right i'm like i i need to go see a doctor so then i that night 
And the you're like anybody on this crew is a doctor, and they're like, they're, they're like, we are, but we're also we're doing crystal meth out of each other's assholes. <laughs> so we can't, so we can't, so we, we can't, can't do operate you. right now. We, do you want meth or an open asshole? <laughs> oh, Tupac doesn't want to be on the show anymore. <laughs> Tupac's like, nope. <laughs> no, they're like, I, I'd help you, but. <laughs> I'm a little fucked up right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, yeah. So, 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 okay. Yeah. So I'm like, I, I have to go to the doctor. Like it was late at night one night and I was like, I have to go down to the doctor. You, I, you obviously no one knows. Like I, for me to have gone down no, to the doctor, it meant I was in horrible pain. And I don't, do I don't not do that. Forget you're in Alaska. So you have to go. It's very, very, you go to a doctor and it's a big thing. Cause now you have to crawl into the igloo. And no, I went down oh. in the ship, doctor. Oh, I was okay. at sea. So it was like 3 oh, in the morning. At 3 a.m. in the middle myself. of the sea. By myself. You're, you're, you're kind of like... I'm walking down the hallway of the so ship. In so much pain. In horrible pain hanging onto the side of the walls. Like you're crying almost. I am crying. Oh, you are. I'm in horrible pain. Right. Horrible. Right. Um, and I had only had one minor operation in my life. I was the, petrified. The sex change. <laughs> 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 I love you so much. This, this is my guest, Weird Al Yankovic. <laughs> so I, <laughs> I love you. So I'm hanging onto the okay. walls, and I'm like, "Oh my god, this is really." I'm. I was freaking out. I'm. I'm, I'm a Jewish girl from New Jersey. Like it just. I was no, freaking out. You're freaking out, and I know you're a Jewish girl from New Jersey. But I, I'm telling you, even though I've never seen you in pain, you can. Just, it's very obvious when you see Jessica on stage. Her power. She's a very tough woman. So for her to be going to a hospital, it's like excruciating pain. Especially on a yeah. ship where they're, yeah. they're not from the United States. They were all foreigners, the, the doctors, the nurse. Like, it just was a lot. Yeah, it was like some Filipino, per, like a guy from Guam that's probably not even really a doctor on the boat. They're like, I don't know what the fuck they were, but I was like, people, I need help from hands. someone. <laughs> Yeah. They were all, they were like, hello, how are you? They were little people. <laughs> yeah, they were, oh my God, they were little people. They were like, we represent the doctors and nurses. Yeah. Um, he, was like, yeah. he was like, can you, can you give me a boost so I could be eye level with your gallbladder? <laughs> hello, how are you? No, so, yeah. yeah. So I, wa um, I walked in and I was like, hi, um, you know, um, I need help. And I, she, I was yellow. So I started getting jaundice. That's how sick oh I was. My God. Because, yeah. because it was like leaking in your liver. and yeah, it was like, not you were okay. I had a horrible infection. I, I mean, a, yeah. a horrible infection. Horrible. Like really, I was not doing okay. So they knew this lady the, needs the like. The minute she looked at me, she said she had to put me on an IV. She had to, it was horrible. Horrible. Wow. So Did she, it help with the pain a little bit, the IV? Well, she put me on an IV and gave me pain medication and they, um, she figured that obviously I was not okay and they had to get me off the ship. How far were you from land? Were you guys from land right now? We were going to a small island called Sitka okay. um, the next day. So I was in this hospital and they got in touch with, do you know Brad Lokley? Brad Lokley. He's a comic. Yes, He's I great. Do He's yes, a great yes. person, a yes. very good friend. And he was yes. the cruise director of the, of the, you know, the ship that week because he's comic and he yeah, I know took Brad. over yes. the organization. It was amazing. Thank God. He He's is. a Brad great Lokley. guy. Yeah. Why is Brad Pitt there when you there Google? It is. This is Brad Lokley. Brad is the greatest Brad guy. Lokley. He's such a nice guy and he's hysterical. He was just in the news last week for stealing luggage and he worked I for Joe Biden. I can't handle him. <laughs> Brad is hysterical, and I got to tell you, I like Brad he fucking saved my life that How? week. You don't even know what he did for me. He came right down to to the, he, he, he's he been a comic for years. He's in LA now, but he, guy, he's yeah. from New York. You don't know what he did for me. He, he came right down to the hospital down there. He was like, it's okay. I was hysterically crying. I was petrified. They had to get you off the boat like in a stretcher. Yeah, but not only that, like you don't know what he did. He went to my room and packed my shit. Like, it, like uh, that is so embarrassing. I had like underwear out, like shit everywhere. Yeah, I was not stains. prepared. Yeah, it sh of course, I had shit stains everywhere. I'm yeah, a lesbian. You shit in your suitcase. Yeah, I'd shit all over my room. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you peed in all your shoes. You had sc you had scratch offs with, and you had wrote Brad's a homo on it. I discharge <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, yeah. I, I had Brad's a f all over yeah, my yeah. room and lipstick all over my mirror. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You had half eaten Philly cheesesteaks. Oh, I food everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. You had a small yeah, Korean man. I had a up. big. I had a. I had a big ziti in my bed, like all <laughs> in your pillowcases. 
I had, had a Korean woman tied up in the corner. Yeah. The heater. You had Entenmann's crumb cake just sitting in the toilet bowl because you eat it right out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> I had two whores in there that I had just fucked and yeah, strangled. Fucked and yeah, 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 you skinned a cat. <laughs> so what? Did you- <laughs> so he went and packed all my shit for me. Right. I mean, it was so. He's That's, like, "Don't yeah. worry, it's okay. I'm going to take care of you, honey." Like yeah. I, I just and they called Danielle and they were like, <laughs> told her what was going on and they're like, "She's not okay. I had high fever. I had like jaundice. I mean, it was like, not it was, good. Wasn't it to was the not point, good." Truthfully, where you were like. This could, like, it was 50 50. Yes, li- if life I didn't death, get help, real. I would not have been okay. I was you not, I was not I, yes, I had a horrible infection. Oh, here, you want to give it to me? Okay. Okay, here. Here. Pimp, pimp, just in the middle of the story. Pimp. Oh, pimp got me a gift uh, for, for Christmas and Hanukkah. And here yeah, it is. I got you a little something. <gasps> That's hot. Yeah, right? I thought Chris would look great in it. And he's such a great dad. Go ahead, keep telling the story. I love that. Yeah, well, I know. This is, um, this is something that. I think, um, yo, know, wear for the kids. Here we go. Here we go. Gay men love that shit. I saw it at a, a gay sex shop. It's hot. In, uh, this, yeah, actually, th- yeah, this is what Brad locally found in Jessica's luggage. <laughs> <laughs> How do I? Okay, there it Don't is. kill yourself. I got it on. Here, yeah, help him. Here it is. You might need to take off that beard. I uh, would wear something like that, actually. It's fun, right? But I, I got I, it on. I wouldn't wear I've, a collar. I'd, I'd have someone else wear a collar, here, you, but yeah, I am yeah, a you daddy. Wanna, you want to hear? Let's take off the beard. So... <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> but oh my that's god. hot on you, Chris. It's kind yes. of fun. Okay. So, so, so t- yeah. Go ahead. Anyway, to, it, it, I could go on and on, but no, he, but, the, but but it's fascinating. But, uh, there was to an me. ambulance. I had never been in an ambulance. Can you believe this? And was, was it the oh, first time I was ever in an was ambulance? Was it on? Was it was it a real ambulance? Or was yes. it reindeer so there was on a, a sled. <laughs> 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 they pushed me on a snowball. <laughs> You're no, in Sand Street, took, Alaska. I was in a tiny island, a tiny little island. That had a they, hospital? W- one little hospital. A little bitty little one, though. A little tiny hospital. They took me in an ambulance. It was so dramatic. And they and they had one operating room, one surgeon. The surgeon was a, a traveling guy from the army. Can you fucking believe this? I had Happened only been operated be on once in my life. Ha- no, he was there, of course, because there's only one surgeon and one operating room. But that's room. his station. I was in this tiny little operating room with like a little curtain. There were like little supplies. I was freaking the fuck out. Of course. He was with me. I was sobbing. And I, I had them. This is so Jewish. I had, I called my cousin Bernie. How funny is this? Who's a urologist? <laughs> who, who, who we call for everything. Everything in my family. Yeah. And I said, Bernie, you have to talk to this surgeon. I don't know what to do. I, I, I'm, I can't have someone operate. Because I had a choice to either do that or be medevaced to Seattle. and have like it a done helicopter there. or something. Right. And I would have done that, but I was so sick. I was so like sick. Like you just wanted it to that, be done. No, no. They were like, you really need to get this done. Like you're right. not okay. So I right. was like, I, I don't know what to do. He's like, I think you need to get it done. Let me talk to him. And he talked to me. He's like, he's done thousands of these. Thousands. He, really? He's an army He's an army surgeon. He's put like limbs back on. He's literally done thousands. You're okay. You're safe. And I trust my cousin with my life. Yeah. And so I had it done and I had to stay. The ship left. They left. They had to. So they literally, they they just dropped you off. Yeah. I was by myself. Were the gay guys mad or they understood? No, I had performed already. So they were like, oh, so this ship was stopping at the island anyway. Yeah, they that stop- was a one stop. I mean, that was one of their stops was to the island. So what happens if it would have been two days before? Like, you just happened to be... I would have had to be on a helicopter off wow. the ship. They would have had to land it on the ship and get you That's get what you they off. do, yeah. Now, would you have to pay for the helicopter ride? Yeah. Off no. the ship? Yeah. I think so, yeah, really? sure. Would the ambulance run you from a... Well, Bernie would pay for it with the money he steals from you. <laughs> <laughs> I think insurance. Oh, yeah. I don't know. That's a nightmare. That's Wait a, a good second. question. I don't so know. Then what, so you get, so, so the guy says that everything's going to be fine. The, the, Bernie, surge, Bernie the surgeon's said, great. He's a nice guy. The, he, came. The, he was wonderful. Um, you know, he was into the comedy thing. You know what I'm saying? They so get you know, like that. He as, was a really as, nice imagine guy. Imagine as you were going under anesthesia, he kissed you on the lips. Yeah, I think he fingered me, but I didn't care. <laughs> That's how he got out your gallbladder. Yeah, I think he stuck <laughs> I think he stuck his fist up he inside of me. Brad, Brad, <laughs> Brad took it and put it in your suitcase. <laughs> but for some reason, my ass was bleeding, but <laughs> yes. I don't know... <laughs> 
So, so, so anyway, I was there the for ship left. four days. I, I was very upsetting. I of was course. by myself for four days in Alaska. Your family but my can't dad, come. But, that, but then I, I flew to Seattle. They took very good care of me. You know, I had a wheelchair, the whole thing, the airline. And my dad flew to Seattle Wait, to meet me. Was Tom Hanks there? <laughs> My dad was my, my dad was a tough guy. We've laughed about this because my dad was a business R. guy, R. Brooklyn guy. Your dad's yeah, great guy. Yeah, was a great he was. man. My dad was great, but he was like, "Come on, let's go!" Like in the, you know, I was sick, yeah. and he was like, "Let's go! Yeah. Come on, get in the fucking you know, yeah, like you it know." It was great, it was, your dad. He, he had the best there. Obama memes. <laughs> <laughs> he was a big Trump guy. My dad. <laughs> Um, I know he, I, I, I follow him on Facebook. Yeah, <laughs> he he flew to Seattle to meet me, and he flew me home. And he flew you know? home. Yeah. Did you first class? Oh yeah. Good. Yeah, Thank yeah, yeah. But a, land, no, a, he a really, good airline though. Yes. Not like a United. Okay. He was oh, a million United, mile, best. whatever. You know, um, flew all over the world. My that day. that so that was because that is a nightmare to nightmare be, to be going through. Something like that, not only on, on, you know, so far from home, but in the middle of the ocean to be going through, like, it probably was like something you think about all the time. Like, you have tr stress from it, post PTSD. I'll never, I'll, I haven't been on a cruise since, and I've been asked to do a lot of them, and those gigs are amazing. Those, those ones with the gay guys. I mean, they're, they're probably some of the best gigs I've ever done because they, they pay well, they treat you like gold, you stay in like a sick, you know, You're in sweet a Alaska, you a, Glacier oh my God, Bay. It's I've traveled the world with them. I've gone to Greece, I probably three times with that group. I've gone all over Europe. I've gone to everywhere. I've gone ev all over the world with with those groups, with right. the gay men, and the the parties are the best in the world. The best lighting, lasers, DJs from all over the world. I mean, I've performed with the biggest stars on those ships. I mean, everyone. I can't yeah. even tell you singers, yeah. comics. I mean, is there any the fights? It sounds like a prime spot for a fight on a ship. Like any drug induced fights? No, but I've been on fights? where people have died and OD'd. It's been horrific. And some of the things. Do they I've... do? Do they give them a burial at sea? Just wrap in rainbow flag, throw them <laughs> over, or do they ship them? to Seattle they put him in a rocket and then there's a big <laughs> there's a big rainbow <laughs> yeah, yeah. no I, they, I they 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 uh yeah they they ship them home it's really yeah you dive it, of a there's so much partying it's yeah. really insane yeah. it's I mean I'm hoping that hasn't does hasn't happened a lot in the past couple of years since I haven't been doing them but I unfortunately have been around that well, did you see that guy who fell off the cruise ship a couple of weeks ago I just and survived saw that. for 18 hours because he was drunk as fuck. He said oh, he blacked, really? He said he remembers like 8 p.m. And then he, when he comes to consciousness, it's like 2 o'clock in the morning. He's in the middle of the ocean by himself watching the boat go away. And he's Oh, and my God. 15 hours. And he got, cause he got in trouble for vaping. He was vaping on the plane, right? I was vaping on the cruise. Yeah, on the deck. And then there was And an he fell off the back of it. Yeah, but I, again, I, we said it before, but when the news talks to him, they play B-roll that was captured of him on the on, on the dance floor, like blackout drunk. Blackout, like he's on like he's on a, a gay cruise in so Alaska. I don't think he can sue. I don't think he can really sue. Because he fucked up. Yeah, at 11 p.m. He took a bathroom break and never it's came back. It's always a carnival. carnival. I mean, not always, but... <laughs> Which, yeah. I didn't do... I did, uh, I did Royal Caribbean and... <laughs> and... Uh, um, What's the other one? I did Royal Caribbean. Viking? I did some of those. They're beautiful. Like I did some of the really, really upscale. Um, oh, look at this. Um, what do you protesters? What is this? Swarm New York City Library. Uh, protesters swarm New York City Library because they're hosting a drag story hour for kids. They don't want the drag story hour. I know. I love kids. that they think it's going to end. Like they're going to stop doing them. It's also if they optional. Keep... What, what's the difference? Then if you don't like it, don't go. But, I, I don't know why they think if they protest it, it's going to stop. Like, yeah. I don't understand what they're thinking. Yeah, it's so, so dumb. If you, I mean, it's, it's, it really is like, listen, we're living in a world right now. Stop grooming kids for sex. That with, yeah, I mean, look well, at I mean, that, that guy. guy looks like, <laughs> that guy looks like all he does is groom I, kids I just, for sex. You know what's so, I, you know what's so upsetting and it's so fucking enraging do you know how many people I know that were molested by priests and rabbis? Yeah. It is so fucking, un like, I can't. Yeah. I'm so sick of, and it's not just that side. It's also, it. like, the ultra liberals that attack me. I'm, I'm, and I, I'm, 
you know, like the people like I'm being attacked. I get attacked on TikTok all the time of by course. the people who gets very sensitive with my jokes. Yeah. So I'm not saying it's like it's just stop doing it. Like just everyone leave each other alone. Like just fucking focus on yourself. Yeah. I don't get it. I guess I'm just I don't. But I think people are really sick in the head. Like they I, they, I don't think I know that. And you know what happens I, too is I think like like they'll say big protest, but it's like five people. You know what I mean? That no, I there. know. They always, so, and it's the like, media. You know, the media will be like, oh, I know. Co- uh, you know, they had, co- you know, they, something will happen. And be like, look at all these comments. And it's like four tweets. I know. They like to like blow things out of proportion uh, too. Um, but yeah, I mean, this guy right here that says stop grooming kids for sex is probably the scariest person I've ever seen in my life. I he mean, probably, gr- he probably is a child molester. Uh, I want to eat asparagus now. Oh, I love asparagus. What's your favorite vegetable? You know, I actually love vegetables. Really? Do you? I yeah. love them. I ate a so whole that's a cup hard... of fruit today. Berries, strawberries, and mangoes because yes. I, I live with Puerto Ricans. Yeah, see, I love fruit too. I've yeah. always loved fruit and vegetables. I, I, my favorite vegetable? Number one. Oh my God. Broccoli? I love broccoli. So good. I thought that when you asked me. Broccoli. It's one of the top ones. I, is it, I like, I personally like, I like peas. I love peas. I love corn. But snow peas or regular mushy peas? No, I love mushy peas. I went to um, England with James Matter and our good friend James Matter. And, and all I want to do is eat fish and chips, but he's allergic to peas. So I couldn't have the mushy peas because he would go into some kind of fucking peanut allergy. So oh I my God, did you love doing England? Uh, I can't wait England to go back. England was amazing. I England, love it. Scotland. Uh, well, I didn't do Scotland this time, but England and Ireland, unbelievable. I want to go back. Scotland and Wales is what I'm going to do next. I'm what did you call me? No, I'm joking. So, I... Did you ever go to Australia? Yes, yeah. I did the Melbourne Comedy Festival. I'm going to Australia, uh, supposedly in June. Australia and New Zealand. You're going to... Have you ever been? No, have You're you been to New Zealand? Out. No. But just Australia you went yes, to. Yes, and I had the best time. I went for a month. You were there for one month? But before I had, you know, only... Uh, you only had one child Yes, a Zoe. So it, I went for like three and a half weeks. It was amazing. With them or you went alone? No, alone. It did was you, amazing. Well, did, did it cause fights that you got to go to Melbourne and your partner didn't? Go, get to go to Australia and have to stay home and take care of the baby? I'm not it, projecting. It did I'm a just little asking. bit, but it... <laughs> It was incredible. You're going to flip out. It's amazing. Then the crowds are great. The people are great. It's beautiful there. Well, I, cause I wanted to be like, go with someone like, oh, like bring jazz in it. But it's like, it's like $20,000 to get there. It's, like and like you can't, you're like there, I can't. It's so expensive there. Yeah. Then it flying is, within the country. It's like, I, I can't, I can't bring anybody. Chris, everything is it like a, a, I, I don't want to say the exact price. I remember a Coca-Cola was like $6. Like it's crazy. A can of Coca, like it's crazy. Because everything's just, it's just- It's a the, fortune. Everything's imported. But it's it, its really one of the most incredible places. You've been there, Venetia, to Australia? Yeah, I went to Sydney and in Melbourne. its I remember going to grab a coffee at Starbucks, like with a muffin and a coffee. It was like 15 bucks. Oh, I want a muffin, but it's not Saturday. <laughs> um, wait a second. And then fly, like from Melbourne to Sydney, it's like flying from like New York to LA, right? Like you're like- it's not that far. It was like an hour or so. Really? Yeah, I thought like they're know. on the other sides of the country. Because Australia is big. It's not just like, it's like a huge country. Do You it's just stayed huge. in one place though. I you, did. You didn't travel all around the country. No, because I did the festival there. So I did a lot of shows. Yeah. Um, but it was really. Did you go with any other American comics or you didn't know anybody there? James Adobian. Is oh, that I love James Adobian. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, um, and I can't remember, I can't remember who the other comic was. It was a long time ago. But I really it's Bill Cosby. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I <laughs> Yeah, I think <laughs> he made you forget. <laughs> yeah, I was drugged the whole time. I don't yeah. remember what happened. You woke up with an asparagus in your ass. <laughs> Everything's always in the ass. <laughs> you're doing the I see you're doing in Seattle the Moore Theater. Yes. That theater is amazing. You've done it? And you, by the way, the flyer that McKinley Cox made for that, the, the McKinley, some of the guy that makes our flyers, that Sleepless in Seattle flyer is hysterical. Yeah, I it's think the it's best the best flyer. one. I think it's yeah. the best one he ever Him, made. I mean, at, the way he put you on, it's just amazing. Yeah. Well, Jessica Kirsten, Sleepless in Seattle, Moore Theater. When is that show? 
It's in, uh, I think it's Next in. Next year. I think it's in 2028. There it is. April, April yeah, it's April 1st, 2028. Yeah, it's April Fool's Day. Yeah, there it is. Um, oh, I, don't, I don't know where it is. Is it? No, you can go on my Instagram. It was just posted today. Yeah, that flyer. Yeah, guys, is I have amazing. so many shows Tell coming up. Tell where they can find you. Yeah, jessicacurson.com. There it is. That, that one. Because I just thought, like. It just, yeah, it's cause, great. Cause look from, at this, look afar, at this you picture. Look, like look at this. <laughs> I thought that was Jasmine. Isn't that unbelievable? <laughs> it's Seattle, April 1st. That's Jessica, that theater. Yeah. First of all, it's like a true nice theater. It's right down by the water. I love it. There. I it's can't got like that wait. three tiers. And that's your first theater. That's my first theater gig. L like that headline. I can't like believe that's it. 24 you. years. I'm going and to look, my 24th year. And that theater is on. You're going to have a great time there. You're going to sell it out. Go see Jessica. Yeah, it's Jessica. sold a lot of tickets already. I yeah, just uh, looked uh, last uh, Yeah, night. no, no. It's, it's going to sell out. You'll probably add yeah. one. Yeah. Um, and, and, and it's amazing. Um, and, you know, it's, uh, yeah. Go, Isn't go see that incredible? It's, that it's amazing flyer. Look at the one, the next one yeah, for, for Oregon, because I already sold out a show in Oregon. This Here is, it is. Oh, he's Look amazing. It's amazing in Portland. Yeah, this is Helium. the second show who added in, in added. Portland. Now, who, the first wait, one sold that? out. Who was, who, who was he making? Who did he make you? Um, I don't know. Do you know who it is? It feels like Portlandia, like a Portlandia. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, that's he's Fred Armisen. He's unbelievable. Yeah. He's great. What else? So, what other shows do we have? I oh, wanna, I, I want to make sure people go see you. Austin, Boston. Here we go. San That's my Fran, schedule. Yeah, Boston, a ton of Cincinnati, them. Cincinnati, Columbus, Denver, Phoenix, Austin. Oh, you're going to be there for Moon Tower? Yeah, not Moon Tower. Okay. But if, actually, I'm in Austin during South by Southwest, but not Nashville. At, yeah, have yeah, a ton. Salt Lake. Yeah. You're going to have a great time. Everybody go uh, go to Jessica's show. Um, go to her site. Um, and thank you so much for filling oh, in. Oh, I love for you so much. Thank I, you all. You know how much I, I love, love you. I love you so much. I, you're brilliant. You you're really the, are. The and you guys are great. I, I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you, Sal. We'll see you guys January, first week of January, the new year. This is the last episode of 2022. We ended it with a bang with Jessica Kirsten. I'm going to end it by banging Jessica Kirsten. I can't wait. <laughs> oh, I love it. And uh, I'm going to fucking, yeah, I'm going to hit you right in the gallbladder. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> And uh, we love you guys so much. We will be back with Sal um, January. Where J Sal and I have some confirmed dates to start filming uh, next week. So I just got word from his family that he rose from the dead. He's the new Jesus. He's out of the coffin and he'll be here next week. I love you guys. Take it up at Bloom Cafe. Thank you for a great 2022. Go see Jessica on the road. Go see me on the road. Go see Sal on the road. Um, and have a good time. We'll see you January 6th. Don't be a fake, don't be a flake, don't run away from your feelings, babe.